Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with one of those discs you very well may have overlooked, and you will regret it if you have. It's this, do it right, this disc of Wagner Overtures and Preludes featuring Japanese conductor, he's actually Japanese-American, he was born in the U.S., his dad was consul general at the time, uh, Hiroshi Wakasugi, and the Staatskapelle Dresden, the great Staatskapelle Dresden on Berlin Classics, one of those marvelous, fabulously well-engineered East German recordings. Now, Wakasugi, who passed away in 2009, um, was a very, very fine conductor. He spent a lot of time at Cologne Radio, and he was known for his late Romantic German stuff, for Wagner, Strauss, Mahler, you know, that kind of stuff. Bruckner, he did a complete Bruckner cycle. Um, with NHK, uh, he was very, very capable and a very sensitive and, and you know, one of those sort of self-effacing but very musical guys, kind of like Bernard Heitink on a good day. Anyway, he really, really was a good conductor. And this set is fantastic. Some of the best Wagner conducting you'll hear and the best Wagner playing. Ooh, baby. So what do you get? Well, you get 51 minutes of preludes. You get first the Flying Dutchman. Now, as we know, the Flying Dutchman Overture is the best part of the opera. I mean, Tovey described it as immeasurably riper than anything in the actual opera or something like that. And he's right. It's got all the good tunes. It's all over with in like 10 minutes. There's nothing not to love. It is, as a piece of musical construction, rather patchy. You know, it starts out with a storm, then it stops, then you hear, hear Senta doing her thing, then it sort of stops, then the storm starts up again, then it stops. It, 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 it takes a certain amount of, you know, conductorial um, sang froid to get through it with complete confidence. And we have lots of sang froid here. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, they just, they just do it. The music making just has a directness and a, a take no prisoners honesty about it that's marvelous. And and it's also tasteful. You know, that's a very subjective quality, isn't it? Taste. And sometimes taste is bad. You don't want too much taste. You just want idiomatic taste. I mean, that's what we have here. It's a really, really lovely performance. So next we get Tannhäuser. And oh, those Staatskapelle Dresden trombones, how they sing. They play, it's, it's not like they're laser weapons. They actually have a tune and they project the tune in a wonderfully powerful, but also noble and lyrical way. That's what I mean by taste. It's absolutely magnificent, a beautiful, beautiful performance. And then we've got the Lohengrin Prelude. Well, the Lohengrin Prelude is kind of foolproof, right? As long as your strings are in tune when they play harmonics, you're in business. So that's lovely and it's luminous and the strings of the Staatskapelle Dresden are wonderfully diaphanous. But the best thing on the disc, I have saved for last. It isn't actually played last. It's played uh, second to last. Oh, you also get the Lohengrin Act Three Prelude. Pardon me. You know, da 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 There again, those trombones, they cut, but they don't blat. You want cutting without blatting. So there you go. Now, the best thing on the disc is the Rienzi Overture. Now, the Rienzi Overture is the trashiest piece of music probably that Wagner ever wrote. And he wrote a lot of trashy music. Um, it's a lot of fun. As I said in my review on ClassicsToday.com of this, um, it sounds like, a, you know, demented Rossini with no sense of humor. I mean, that really is what it is. You know, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It, it takes forever to get going. Um, but once it does, it's really exciting. This is the best recording of the Rienzi Overture I've ever heard in my life. I mean, when they, it, at the end, when they do, you know, they've got the combination of the tunes, you know, the orchestra's going, do, 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 the trombones are like, ba, ba, da, 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 da. I mean, it, it can just sound grotesquely vulgar and cheap. It sounds marvelous here. The crispness of the rhythm, the transparency of the orchestral textures, it's absolutely 
a joy from beginning to end. And so, you know, you really need to hear it. And by the way, because I reviewed this as an insider review at classicstoday.com, all of you insider folks, feel free to run over there because not only can you read the review, which is quite short, it's just a couple paragraphs, but we've got the sound sample of the Rienzi Overture so that you can go and enjoy it and get a sense of what it's going to, what you're going to be in for. You'll, you'll be amazed. It's, it's just, it's such a lucid, clear, musical, intelligent, exciting, idiomatic, wonderful Wagner disc. Everything about it. It's just fantastic. So if you can get it, it's on Berlin Classics. I checked Amazon. I saw one still around. Um, you can probably stream it. it. It's really good. And Wakasugi, you know, remember he did all of that weird Richard Strauss for Denon, all the ballets, Schlagobers and Verklugene Festa and all that crazy stuff. The symphony in F minor. He, he was an interesting conductor and he was willing to play a lot of unusual music. Um, he did a tremendous series of Takamitsu recordings. Um, it's, it's good that he should be um, memorialized in this way. Probably I would say we need an addition. Now, maybe we don't need an addition, but we need to listen to what he, to his legacy. We really do. And boy, is this hot stuff. It's beautiful. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.